Are you looking for a way on how to stake up all your plants? In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way uh, to stake up your plants called the Florida Weave. <music> Hi, this is Jeremy Stark here from Green Thumb Garden, here to give you some tips, tutorials, and reviews for all your gardening needs. In today's video, we're going to go over what's called the Florida Weave. I know it sounds like a dance or something, but, but in actuality, it's a way to stake up your tomato plants, and um, it's very simple to do. Uh, the, the cost of it of doing it is not very much, and uh, it's really simple to do if you have a bunch of tomatoes. Uh, really, this method is for somebody that has really a bunch of tomatoes, maybe in a row garden, um, or if you have it in containers, you have them kind of lined up, because this way actually depends on putting up two poles, and then you're weaving uh, some string in between those, between your plants, to get it in there. It's really simple. It's very easy to do. There's not much to it. Uh, the poles, you just have to buy once. Uh, there's a, another thing that you have to buy, a little smasher thing, and that's really all you have to do. Uh, before we get started, if you could please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making a great video for you. Also, if you could, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell so you get notified of any new videos that we do have. Also, we do have a website called GardenOfTheThumb.com where we have lots of tips and tricks and little hacks and all that other stuff out there as well. So if you could, check that out as well. Now that we get that out of the way, let's get right into it. Hello, gardeners. Uh, back here, we're going to actually get started. I'm going to show you actually how to string up your tomatoes here. Now, uh... If you're not familiar with, with um, you know, what you need to do for some of these tomatoes, you, you basically have to stake a lot of the indeterminate tomatoes because they're going to get very large and once the fruit starts, the tomatoes start developing, they're going to they're gonna basically flop over. So you have to have some type of way to, to you know, keep them sturdy in the garden. There's several different methods. Um, there really isn't a, a right or wrong method. It really is just a matter of just doing something so they are able to keep the plants up. But I wanted to show you, before I show you the steps on how to do this, I wanted to show you an idea of what this one actually looks like. So just so you can get an idea of what it looks like for it. Um, so as you can see, I got two different poles. I got one over here. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera. I'll bring the other camera around. And I have another pole over here. And I have a maximum of four plants in between the two poles. And then what I have is just some twine that I'm wrapping in, in between the plants. And I try to keep it as tight as possible because that helps to keep the plant up. So the other thing that I do, and you don't have to do this, is I have these little mini stakes. I put them in because I don't necessarily do the, this right away. I let it grow a little bit. So I do stake it up. I get a very, a very simple bamboo um, stake and I use that in there just you know right at the beginning. So let me give you a little, a little walk through on on this just so you can see the actual way that I do it. So as you can see here, the, these are the poles that I use. These are um, actual fence posts that you can get at most stores. I go with the six and a half. I'm probably gonna get a seven foot one the next time because they do get, you know, some of these plants do get very large. So I think seven feet will just give me that extra little space, but it's still gonna be fine. Um, these will be fine to grow. So the other, the other material that you're gonna need is, you're gonna need this twine right here. Uh, and I'll show you exactly, um, you know, where you can find this. You can find a link in the show notes below and I'll show you exactly which one I use. Nothing really fancy. You know, you're just basically weaving the plants in between that. So the most that you wanna have if you're having containers or if you have other plants, you can also do this in the garden, is you don't wanna have more than four plants. And the reason is because you wanna keep this taunt so that it's, you know that it's tight and everything for it so you want to make sure that you don't have too many plants doing this because you want to be able to keep this tight so as you can see over here i have the post right here the other thing that you're going to need is this this really helps although it's it's not it's not necessary 100 percent, but i definitely recommend this, this is a, a fence post uh i don't know what they call it i'll put a link in the show notes but it basically smashes the the post down into the ground so that you're able to, uh, you know, smash it in there. So it's one of those kind of smashing thingamajiggies. <laughs> All right, let me show you exactly how this is done with, with uh, some of my some of my tomatoes here that I haven't started. All right, so now that you got, you want to make sure you have these poles in here. What what I suggest to do is you want to actually line up your plants in a row. So um, I already got this one 
this one already started over here. So I put this in and I basically put it up at the edge and I try to get it as close as I can to the tomato plant if at possible. Um, now on these things, you also want to notice that these, they have kind of these two things that they use for the plants. I like to keep these on the outer edge. So in other words, these are going to be facing out away from it. So when you actually do the string, they have something to kind of catch on to. I did it the other way before. So the other thing, if you never used these before, this is actually what goes in the ground, this part right here. So you'll see that there's a white part, at least on most of them, that's the top. That's actually the top part. So what I like to do is I just kind of line both of them up, you know, as best I can. I get the containers kind of where they're going to be because I don't really want to have to move too much stuff around when I'm done with this. So I kind of do my best to kind of judge where this thing is. This thing's a little bent. Um, and then, so I have an idea of where I'm going to put this in there. So one of the things that I, <laughs> that I found when I'm doing this is that this thing is so heavy. So what I suggest is is actually putting it on before you kind of lay it in here into the ground because it does, it's really hard to get on, especially the seven foot, if you get a seven foot one as well. So once you get it lined up in there, the next thing to do is to just smash it in. So let's see how this goes. And as you can see, this is in there, and these are fairly sturdy. It's not going to be, you know, this thing I wouldn't hold up too much weight on here, but the tomato plants are not going to weigh that much, so you don't really need to have it too much. So you got this in here, and you have your plants all situated. Now, ideally, this really works best if you have all the plants roughly around the same size. Now, I have just I did another plant right here, so this one is not going to be quite the size of these ones right here, but it'll still... Um, I'll still do what I need to do is weave in the minnow, but uh, generally you want to start with something that's roughly about the same size for each thing. So here's what you do is you need to get this type of string right here. And like I said, I'll put a note in the thing. And what all I do is, is you want to have basically enough that you're going to be able to string this through tw twice and you're going to wrap it in. So what I do is I first I measure it because I don't want to, kind of weave this thing through here so let me make sure I got my so first what I do is I, I kind of want to measure a bunch of these strings because I like to do everything all kind of in a group so I'm going to do probably with this one as tall it is 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 probably do four so all I'm doing is I'm just measuring the length across right here so as you can see all I'm doing is just basically measuring the length so I give myself enough enough string here because you're going to pull this a little tight and it's going to not be uh, totally in here. So I try to just do four all at once because then I'm ready to go. Makes it a little bit easier when I do it, but if you want to do it one at a time, you can. And that's what I was saying. The, the tooth things on here, they're actually really helpful when you're putting this up in here. All right, so I'll do this again. This method is very simple to do. It's, it's really, you know, the only thing you have to store at the end of the year is these things right here, which is not really much space. I mean, if you have the big cages, those are great, but if you don't have a lot of room um, or money, I guess, because some of them are kind of expensive to do, these posts run, I don't know, I think like five bucks, six bucks or whatever a post, so it's not too much money. And they last, I mean, these things aren't going to, I think these things will last me, you know, they're not too, uh, not too shabby. So, so this is the third one right here. We'll get this one going here. All right. So we got pretty pretty close to where I want to have this. My first plan is not going to make it, but that's all right. We'll uh, get them weaved in afterwards. So all you're doing is basically is you're taking the string and you're going to go in and then you're going to go around. So you're going to kind of do like an S around each plant. So obviously if you have the more 
And then what you're doing is you're gonna circle around again and go the opposite way. So you're looping it around this pole and then you're gonna do basically the opposite. You're gonna weave in between right here. And the whole idea is that you're gonna, you're gonna basically get it so it's taunt enough that it's gonna stay up and you know hold your plants up when they're when they start growing so it's really good to get this you know kind of before they get really too big so then the next one i go i usually go up maybe about six inches seven inches maybe from it you know it really depends you know you can do it as many as you want but then i go the opposite way so i'm going to go this way and then i go this way and you're pulling it tight against the pole because you want to have some, some tension between it to keep it up. Let's see. And you can see this one's getting uh, this one's getting big, but when I when I do the rest of the, the weave in here, you'll see uh, you'll see what I mean. You can also position these too. So see how that kind of changed it, it shifted it down there. So don't be afraid to move your containers if you really have to, to make sure that you get it in there. So I want to make sure I pull this tight enough, not enough to rip the plant, but enough to make sure it's tight. And then you're just tying it off here. All right, let me do the other ones and uh, show you what it looks like at the end here. So what I would do is, if you have the plant and it's not quite as grown, as it starts growing, I would I would gently, you know, put it in between the the existing ones that you have, and now that'll, that'll snug it in and keep it upright. But I haven't had any problems, and I've done that before. All right, then we got the last one right here. So as you can see, I mean, this is pretty simple technique. There's really not much to it. Uh, I mean, it's not very complicated to do this, but it's definitely good to, you know, to get it in there um, as the plant is growing. You know, I don't mind doing it, you know, at this point, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait any much longer in my situation because you don't want this thing toppling over during a storm, and then you'll be scrambling to do something with it. So, and when you're pulling this tight, you don't need to pull it like so. It's like really tight. Um, I like to just kind of get it a little bit taut as much as I can, but not like overly tight. And as long as the string stays on, it will stay up for this. As you can see, I got four different strings on here, the length, and I'm basically just tying them in and I'm weaving them in between the actual plants. So as you can see, this is not going to go anywhere. I got to water this guy. Um, but as you can see, it's not really going anywhere. They're not going to move. In fact, I even kind of looped around this little uh, stake right here. Um, and then as they grow, you're going to do more, you know, you're going to weave it up, you know, as well, more in there. Hopefully that helped you out. Um, so if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Also, if you did find this video helpful, please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making great video for you. Also, if you could hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell so you get notified of any new videos that we do have. Also, we do have a website called GardenerThumb.com where we just put out tips and tutorials and other things to help you out in your garden. So if you could take a look at that as well. And uh, as always, we'll see you in the next video.